Bethesda has released a statement saying that they will no longer be giving out pre-release review copies of their games to publications. And we've seen this starting to uh, get some steam behind it. Uh, we This is not the first time we've seen this. This has been getting more and more popular amongst the development community. And Bethesda is just the next one in line. Um, it's rare to see a company state that they won't be giving out copies of any of their games, but it, we've still seen this. So a lot of the top gaming publications are being pretty upset about this, which I can see. Rock Paper Shotgun called it anti-consumer. Now, I want to kind of make some things clear so we can see through, read between the lines. These publications are probably the most affected by this. They make all their money through ad revenue. How do they get ad revenue? They get internet traffic. How do they get internet traffic? They are one of seven sites that got to review the next Elder Scrolls or the next GTA. You know, that's probably where a large chunk of their traffic comes from is these pre-release reviews that normal mortals like you and me don't get access to and so this is being called anti-consumer now and in in a certain light it can be anti-consumer i guess there are people who do base their video game purchases off whatever review it gets from their favorite site or sites i think this is a bad way of buying video games but you know who am i to judge Everybody, you know, purchases video games their own way. And in that aspect, I could see it being a little anti-consumer because if nobody can review the game till it's out, you won't really know what you're buying until a couple days in, which really shouldn't be a big deal. There are people that have mentioned, you know, pre-order bonuses and, you know, that whole thing. And I can kind of see that and I can kind of sympathize with that. But... The reason why these big publications are upset is because now they won't get that ad revenue. Because now the reviews have been all placed on an, you know, an even playing ground. Everybody's got a chance to you know, play the game first. And this is important for you know, somebody like me. I have my very, very modest YouTube channel. And I've kind of shied away from reviews because mostly the there's going to be you no know, 10 reviews already out there from big publications who's been able to play it for a week or two that I don't have access to. Now, at least with Bethesda games and them not releasing any review copies, it gives me a chance to actually do reviews and be one of the first guys out there and maybe get some traffic to my channel and so when you really look at it like that and when you realize that with these publications calling it anti-consumer it, it's they don't care about the consumer they don't care they care about the ad revenue that those pre-release reviews bring them and that's what they really care about you know it's funny that I'm looking at all these sites and it's all the same song they all say that it's just totally anti-consumer hoping that somebody will eat that shit up and you know send out all these complaints and probably start a petition or you know all the kind of shit people online do and what I'm saying is is that it's not anti-consumer it's Bethesda Bethesda makes open world sandbox RPGs since Morrowind since I discovered Morrowind I have not been disappointed enough in a single Bethesda open world RPG to feel bad about purchasing. Not a single one. Morrowind was good. Oblivion was good. Skyrim was good. Fallout 3 was good. New Vegas was developed by Obsidian, but still was good. Fallout 4 was good. I have yet to be disappointed. Dishonored was good. That's the next Bethesda game coming out. They got Dishonored 2 coming out. And Dishonored was good. I don't... I don't need giant publications reviews in order to decide if I'm going to buy a game. I'm a gamer. I've been playing games a long time. I can look at gameplay video and decide if I'm going to want to buy it or not. And I think most people work that way. 
And so it's really funny to see all these sites talking about anti-consumer when it's so easy to see their true intentions, their true feelings. Their true feelings are they're mad that they won't get the ad revenue from doing these reviews on Bethesda games because Bethesda games are top sellers. You know, Bethesda is one of the kings in the gaming industry. They release something and it fucking sells. It sells itself. They don't even have to show you gameplay video. Somebody, you know, they can come out and say, we just released a new Elder Scrolls, sorry, no gameplay, but it's out now, and it would sell millions and millions of copies. It's, you know, it's just the way it is. They're, they're good at their craft. And, this, and that's what this video is really about. It's about realizing that these publications, these IGNs, these polygons, they don't care about consumers. It's irrelevant to them. To, you know, they look at you as a consumer that's all they see you as they see you as somebody who's going to go on their site and consume information watch their videos so they can get their ad revenue that's what they expect out of you they don't care about you buying a game that you might regret later that's irrelevant to them they want the ad revenue it's plain to see and so calling bethesda anti-consumer and trying to tarnish a good developer is not going to work at least it's not going to work with me and I hope it doesn't work with you guys. Sure, you would like to maybe see uh, a review a couple of days early to see if the game's fucked up, especially on PC. I'm a PC gamer, uh, mostly, and there's been a bunch of times where we've gotten the new game only for it to run like complete shit on, on our machines. And that I can sympathize with wholeheartedly. I've been there. But I don't look at this as anti-consumer. I just look at it, especially as a YouTube content creator, as evening the playing field. Now I can do reviews. And I can be, you know, relevant when they're up. Can't be relevant when there's 10, 15, 20 reviews out there for a game that you just got your hands on and now you want to do your review. I don't have that kind of following yet. Anyways, like, subscribe, share. I'm out.